great brands and, and great businesses have to be great storytellers too. We have to tell authentic stories, emotive, compelling stories. And I think even more so because we're nonfiction and we are building a lifelong relationship with people and every great relationship has to be built on trust. The company's been around 150 years. It's a big, great story. We were actually celebrating the 150th anniversary when I started. Christopher and I, in one of our very first group meetings, stood up in front of all of the associates in the UK, and in that very first presentation, we told the team an amazing novel had been written about the company. So we actually brought in a cultural anthropologist to study the company, to make sure that we understood the story. And we said, we should capture this story for the last five years so that we can pass it on to the next generation so that they understand how we've built this amazing culture, how we've turned or transformed the brand around, and that we weren't looking to write another book, but we were looking to write some really new, exciting chapters. Trust is a really big part of the values of the company, and it, it almost underpins every form of communication. Any constituency who's touching your brand or your business, associates, business partners, consumers, or investors, they want to trust that you're going to deliver the message, the feeling, the product that you said you were. We wanted one story that everybody could feel, everybody could see, and not just feel the emotion, but feel the energy. We needed to keep the story authentic. We needed to keep it pure. We knew we were going to target a different audience. We knew that the mediums would be different. We knew it would be so much more global than maybe things had been in the past. But the story had to be the same.